Hi guys, hi guys, hi. I am so stinking excited. <sighs> I'm going to the Cardi B concert. I'm going to see Cardi B at the rodeo. It's a concert, but it's a mini concert. It's not like super huge, it never is. But I'm just so, so excited. So the tickets went on sale whenever, and I really, really, really wanted to go, but when they were available for purchase, I forgot to get online, and they sold out in like two minutes. But my wonderful sister, y'all probably can hear all that noise outside. Um, my wonderful sister somehow, some way, got tickets and we are going <gasps> ah, so i'm gonna take y'all to the rodeo with me tonight y'all can see the little kids riding the sheep and all that good stuff and then me and my sister are actually going to get colonics tomorrow first time ever for both of us so i'm just gonna make this a little sister weekend vlog and i hope y'all enjoy it anyways i'm jamming this new two chains album and i'm gonna make my way downtown houston so i'll talk to y'all when i get to the ride it's early. The rodeo starts at 6.45. Bacardi's not gonna come on till like nine. So me and the sister at Papado's gonna get a little pre-appetizer, drink turn up. Yummy. And my sister, Shara, I think the last time she was on the vlog. Oh God. Well, that was like Christmas 2018. 17. 17. I was before though. I thought last year sometime last year. Yeah, that was around when me, you, and Jake went to the Christmas. Oh yeah. yeah. No, that was 2017. Yeah. But last year we were always on there. I just don't remember what I don't we remember. Did. But either. hi anyway. Good seeing everybody. <laughs> y'all kept saying, oh yeah my gosh, y'all sound so much alike. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna do a little toasty toast. Cheers yes. to Sister Weekend. Yes. And Cardi B. And Cardi B. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> we have arrived. We have arrived. So we had some good food at the Papados. And uh, drinks. Don't forget the drinks. And then we're going to get it all washed away tomorrow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Don't spoil it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now it's time to go see Cardi. Cardi, party, bang it, body. <laughs> y'all want to see my outfit? Let me get this to show y'all my outfit. Yes. Everybody riding the cows and the bulls and the sheep. This is the rodeo, y'all. Let's go now. Welcome to Houston, Texas. Here's your host. Thank you for your help. This is the cast for the cows. The cows are coming into the arena, and when our starter, Ooh, just the like it. Commissioner Rodney Ellis, drops the hat. <laughs> The cab scramble will be going and we are underway! <laughs> Oh my god, she's 
45, 50 minute concert. She sang all the top hits. My voice is gone. I'm gonna be hoarse tomorrow trying to show some houses in the morning, but it's all worth it for Cardi. So we can either go outside to the carnival and eat and do carnival rides or we can go home. I'm kind of old, y'all. I kind of want to go to my bed now. <laughs> Party's done. You had fun, sis? Yes, I did. Great time, great show. Y'all go see Cardi. She's doing a residency in Vegas. So if you're in Vegas, go okay. check her out. I know I want to go. When? I don't know. Oh, we need to look into that. Mm -hmm. I want to go see her again. Because like I was saying, the rodeo is just, it's like a little snippet of a concert. It's not like a whole concert. Yeah. So she'll probably give more extra, Definitely. more outfits. But I loved the outfit. Yeah. The rodeo chaps. Cowgirl the hat. pink, the hair. She had the sparkly pink boots. It uh -huh. was everything. Anyways, we'll see y'all tomorrow for the Bye. clinic. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. So it's the next day. And I just pulled up to this. I don't forgot the name of the place. But it's time to get the clinic. I'm so sleepy, y'all. I got like five hours of sleep. Showed like eight houses this morning. And now I'm here. HC3 Wellness Center is the name of this place that I'm at. Let's go. Alrighty. Oh, so, wait, is this the little two? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's yeah, that, that's it looking like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Say good morning, sis, or what time is it? Uh, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I don't know what she done got me into, y'all. <laughs> I can't eat no food. Miserable. Steam veggies and broth is what we can have until tomorrow this time. Mm. This is an effective way to help with uh, that kind of weight loss because most people that come do this for weight loss, they're also transitioning to another diet. So they're doing this in conjunction with eating different exercise and it really just helps them uh, you know, overall. Yeah, like a fresh start. Mm -hmm. A fresh start and they're putting that healthy food in their systems. And then they may do some uh, juice cleanses along with doing these, and then all of a sudden so they start to notice. And then what they do uh, also portion control eating. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's what I think that's the biggest kicker right there. Mm -hmm. It's not all the time what we're eating; it's the amount of food we eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How often should you? Now, what we start off telling people is used to start off at least doing the jump start, doing a series of three. A year? No, within a two-week period. So you do one this week, like say for instance, oh. y'all are in here this Saturday. And then you will come back next week, uh, like Thursday, Friday, or Friday, Saturday, within a two-week period. So this week, next week. And those, those two next week, you do back-to-back. -back. Oh, really? You got that much to get out? That's what I'm yeah, going to Isn't that much of it? <laughs> <laughs> you be surprised. Sometimes they come, they release at a certain point on, in this time, and they'll stop. And they come back the next time, they're like, whoa, much more comes out the second time. And sometimes, y'all have never done this before, right? No. no. Sometimes on the uh, first time, it's more of a hydrating session. Your body's never been introduced to water going in your back like that. And so it kind of hydrates you. And then afterwards, you, 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 the second one, you people look like, wow, you're releasing a lot more. <laughs> sometimes yeah, it so takes... So is there any risk in, you know, doing that, doing it so frequent, having, you know, the three so like so, so close? No, um, we do give you an aftercare sheet afterwards to some replenishment that needs to be done as mm -hmm. far as electrolytes, minerals, vitamins, probiotics, you need to, you definitely need to replenish. But as long as you're staying within that, doing that, and eating like we ask you to, you'll, you'll be fine. Okay. Um, we just don't recommend that you do three with over three in one week. Okay. So what's the difference between this and a colonoscopy? The colonoscopy, you're just going in, they're viewing your, their, your body with the, uh, with a so, camera, with yeah. a scope. Okay. This, you're actually three. sending water, water into your system, yeah. And okay. if you're releasing waste, that, it's just, they're just viewing they're just, your yeah. insides. Okay. Looking for polyps. Polyps and stuff, yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times then, too, you they can tell, too, if you're impacted, if you're, uh, if clogged, you're up. clogged up, mm -hmm. they can tell you that. But yeah, but this is actually flushing. This I was just telling Andre flushing. he should he should come with us. He was like, nah. <laughs> nah. I know he should. <laughs> yeah, most guys always have this. You 
know, thinking about how. Kevin said, I'm That's like, he's like, they got to stick something up my butt. That's the first thing he said. Mm-hmm. Kevin said, I ain't doing that anymore. Just All right, my body. The machine. It's called a Libby. The Libby. The, the lower, lower intestine and bottom bowel uh, evacuation. Evacuation. So this is a tube. And this thing goes up your rectum. And there's the viewing thing of all the nastiness coming out of you. You want first sister? In. You're going to hold it. You're going to hold it to you if you're cramping or pressure. How am I going to hold that? You're you're holding it in your gut, like you're like if you if you're not really sure how to hold it, just kind of like you know how we be like, like you holding it like you like, got to pee. Like you hold, you remember how you, no, no, not down there in but, here. So uh, you know how we had those cute dresses on and we don't want our son to be sticking out. Yeah, so we, we know. That. Like, oh yeah, that is how <laughs> hold that. Like oh, okay. if you can't, because normally that's what I tell people until they get the hang of holding it. Because when the water goes in, it's just gonna it's gonna stay in your colon anyway. This, it can't get out. I mean, it, it's, it's filling up a an organ. Okay. So you're going to be able to hold it unless you just that backed up. But, yeah, you can hold it until you feel that cramping or pressure. Those are your two indicators. Okay. I tell people those are your indicators. Okay. When you start feeling that cramping or pressure, you're going to push it out like you're having a bowel movement. Just kind of push. You're going to push it out. The rectum's going to open up. You're going to pass. It's going to pass the nozzle out of your rectum into this hole down there. And then when you release, you'll see all the waste in that Ooh. tube. Oh, good. There's a mirror. Do people generally, like, how much weight can you lose you can from this? You can lose like, anywhere from 5 to 10 pounds. From one session? Mm-hmm. Shut the front door. Mm-hmm. Really? Because hey. that's much waste sometimes sitting in our systems. And for some people, I should have weighed really myself before. Pay, you should have weighed yourself. Y'all don't got a scale? Mm-mm. Dang. We don't. But, um, yeah, sometimes people can lose anywhere from 5 to 10 pounds. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of waste sometimes. I've seen wow. people. I like the water all over here. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel like the water all over here. Yeah. I feel it. It feels kind of different. Yeah. It almost feels like a cold feeling. Kind of like. Yes. It's cold. Because it's like it never has visited that area before. It's it's warm water to see because it's already it already feels so too. sweet, Jesus. Mm-hmm. That's because oh, it's probably oh, God, it's that funny so sensation. <laughs> <laughs> that, that means you got to release. Oh, oh, my God. This ear cramps. Oh, my God. Go ahead and push it out. Oh, my God. Go ahead, there you go. Oh, 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 I left my crazy sister over there squealing. <sighs> oh, Jesus, I'm nervous. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm on the machine, the Libby, and it's working. That's all I can tell y'all. Update. I've been on here for 15 minutes, and I'm so ready to get off. It just feels like you're sitting on the toilet, like, going number two. And I have 30 more minutes to go. Oh, I better lose 10 pounds after this. <laughs> Okay, y'all so let's talk about symptoms this is so TMI it feels so weird doing this but you know I do it for the vlog so like when the water pushes and they want you to hold it's like your body starts cramping and for my ladies it's not like it's not like period cramps it's just like I don't know I don't know how to explain it and I'm hot I'm very very hot and then you hold until like you feel the pressure or the cramps get like real bad or not real bad but just you know pressured cramps and then you release and it's like you're going not number two but number three <laughs> all done y'all thank god so they gave us a little vitamin c packet to put in this water and a list of things to do after so drink plenty of liquids juices herbal teas electrolytes eat Puree, pureed food, blended soups for 24 hours after the procedure. Shara over here talking about she want crawfish. Oh, some chicken wings. It's gonna come right on out. <laughs> and reduce heavy meat intake for the next three days. 
How you gonna do that, guys? We're done. Tell me how you felt. How you feel? Hungry, sleepy. <laughs> hungry, uh, sleepy. And just hungry. Shit. Well, we're starving because we really haven't ate today because we couldn't eat two hours prior. So I haven't eaten anything except for a cookie at an open house. And so I feel lightheaded, but my stomach and stuff, like my body feels lighter. You gotta go get on the scale. Yeah. See how much we weigh. And see if this really did something, y'all. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. It was interesting. Cardi was lit. But until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye!